So, we, we are, are moving. Moving, <laughs> moving from Abilene. set up to do a video for a corporate group that um, focuses on vegan eating, plant-based eating, vegetarian lifestyle, all the things. And so we're set up. We have cake here. We're going to do our pumpkin cake made with our peanut butter chocolate blast protein cake Man, today. This, this uh, cream cheese icing. Is... Look, we're, we just moved in the RV, so we don't even have our microwave in there yet. So we came to our church and we're using their space. And we no. like to promote our cakes with a topping. And I forgot one, so I found this mayonnaise in the church fridge and just drizzled it. Do you want to eat the one with icing? No. All right. I'll have some. Have some. Okay. Do you have some in your mouth already? Oh my goodness. Slow down. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Is it good? No, no, no. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Whoa, so good. Nom nom. Wow. <laughs> Liza, you like it? Nom nom. Yeah, she said, I don't know. Take another bite. You like it? Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Nom nom You want to know what the iciness? First legit RV hookup. Yeah, first time. Boom. We'll be here for several days. Then we're taking a little trip to see our family, so just parking at our friends while we're gone. We're at a state park. The kids are already so pumped. And so is Bella. Pumped, Xander? Are you pumped? <laughs> Alright, so I gave us some questions All about right. RV living and we're gonna answer them. This is it. In the we're RV. living in the RV. The kids are literally asleep. We're answering questions. This so, is our uh, backdrop. So, question number one What ways did you cut down on what you own for everything to fit into the RV? And what ways did you cut down on what you own for everything to fit in the RV? Well, everything does not fit in the RV. <laughs> Only so we don't tiny, have tiny, tiny little bit. Fits in the RV. So uh, we don't. One of the biggest thing is probably we don't have a microwave. And we run a microwavable cake company. Well, I mean, but we have a microwave outside. Don't the microwave worry. could. The microwave could fit. <laughs> we it haven't just, fit it into a place, which is kind of sad and hard. It but, could fit. It just yeah. th didn't cut the list. It didn't. And it, it didn't. Uh, yeah, meet the requirements that we needed. So. But we do have it with us. We do have a microwave, um, and it's usable. We use yeah, it. Yeah, we plug it in. It's not a big deal. But so, oh, but we sold a ton of stuff. If you followed along early on, we sold a ton of stuff before we moved out of our house. 
So we decrease what we own and then the rest of it's in storage uh, at just a family member's house. Um, where do you plan to park the RV most of the time? So that's the next question. So right now, um, fortunately we were able to, uh, we went to the Abilene State Park and were able to be out there for a little while. And then fortunately we were able to, to connect uh, like literally within an hour of needing to <laughs> like we literally yeah. being kicked out of Abilene State Park and we had to find a place within one hour because they were full not because we didn't, we didn't do anything <laughs> nah. literally next door to the state park and they're friends of friends and we just met this it's guy crazy, crazy we don't even we don't already know uh, uh, Jason Gross yeah. uh, but we, we have several connections with them but uh, well, fortunately they just uh, have a uh, it's called the refuge uh ranch, ranch. Okay. right so next question. next question do you guys plan to travel a lot um yeah i mean i think there's there's going to be room for travel um now with the rv um we're going to test uh that here very soon with the fredericksburg trip yep and next it's going to be we have it as our snacks about two hours two hour drive to fredericksburg three three, three hours oh, no. yeah three hour drive so it's <laughs> <laughs> going to a mechanic tomorrow to get everything checked out again but to one that does rvs more and he's going to kind of tell us if we can drive it to fredericks fredericksburg he thinks but it will. he already said it will. yeah if everything goes well we plan to travel some in texas mostly for ezra snacks events okay, so will. where will you work out well we work out at home normally so we just continue to work out here not in but outside yeah i mean um, using the outdoors to work out i mean throwing weights around yeah, we have them packed underneath the RV. There's some little um, compartments, and we pack them underneath there. So, um, how excited are you guys? How excited? Um, <laughs> is, excitement is um, from a scale of one to ten. We're probably a nine point eight three. I was gonna say a seven, <laughs> but that's like I'm in it, and there's some hard things right now. So living through some of the hard, I'm a seven. But so if on move-in day, I was definitely a nine point whatever you said. I could I could I could understand a seven. I'm, yeah. All I'm, right. Yeah, I'm a five. Next question. <laughs> I don't know. Um, since you're basically going minimalist, how many outfits per person? And what's your plan for laundry when it needs to be done? So currently, we are so blessed because Miguel had the bright idea like years ago to create a laundry business where people pick up your laundry, wash, fold, package, and deliver it back to you in one day. And if you haven't tried it out, go try it out, especially in Wash This Way. Wash This Way in Texas. So he sold go, it. Go try it out right and now. And as a reward of selling it, we get our laundry done for free, which is such a blessing. So once we a week- We have laundry in forever. Thank you. Yeah, Wash This Way. Wash so this way. once a week, we give them our laundry, they give it back the next day. It's a blessing. We still feel like we have so many clothes. I do. Like, I don't understand. I'm okay. I mean, I've like, I mean, as a whole, when I'm like sitting the laundry, I'm like, how do we even have this much? And then it comes back. But I don't, I couldn't tell you like how many outfits. We did just kind of get some more winter stuff, so it's different, but. I'll probably have five outfits. No, he has one now. Come on. Seven. We have, we each have a tub under our couch bed futon. Um, and then we have half of a little closet. So probably about this much each. So Brittany has a larger, larger tub than I. Yeah, I do, but anyways, you're gonna, you're pulling it out. Okay, here's his tub. So you can see, there's probably all- And then a closet space about this big, so yeah. There's all my clothes, nicely neat. Right, so well, date night and family night look different. Uh, yes. <laughs> or, or family time look different. So family time does look different. We have a lot more time with our kids. We're in a smaller space. Oh yeah, I mean, fam but, family time's like constant family time. <laughs> like you don't get away from family time because you're in it. Yeah, um, we talked the other day even like if we were to be able to sit down and watch a movie with our kids, I said one of the blessings of living in an RV is so many times when we would watch a movie together, we'd end up getting up and doing stuff while the kids watch their cartoon oh, movie. Yeah. And it's like, if we watch a movie together here, we'll literally be sitting with them because we have nowhere to go. Like we're in the, the living room is the house. You sit over there while I sit and here. There's nothing to do because well, it's tiny, which is a blessing in what we wanted. We want yeah. smaller responsibilities and like doing so that we can be with our kids more. Um, uh, and then day, day night, the I mean, we haven't, uh, I don't think we have had an opportunity yeah. for it yet because we've honestly just been kind of crazy. 
we've been transitioning. So, yeah. so I mean, transitioning f into the RV. We've been traveling a little bit. And so. Question. Um, activities for your kids with having less space. So what's it say again? What are activities you have for your kids with having less space? So we are blessed that we live in Texas and right now the weather, middle of November, is incredible. It is awesome. And so, so and we are parking at places where there's like things to do. Outdoor areas where they can just like enjoy so, nature. So yeah, we it. went hiking the other day. We walked around uh, Avalon State Park for a little bit. We went up to the park uh, right up to the, right up the road. Yeah. Um, here at the Refuge Ranch, um, they have a little small, 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 uh, game room. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not, yeah, it's they just have a, a pool table with yeah. a ping pong table. It's awesome for our kids because they don't yeah. know any different. They think, they think it's like prime time or an arcade. They, they think it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and there's just the adventures, an abundance of adventures out here. So they, they, yeah. they love it. They so love nature and playing. They wake up so. thinking, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go find something, explore, and find yeah. something new to do so yeah it's awesome um as far as what we like packed in the rv for them to do i'm so, gonna do a tour eventually but i mean their toys are minimal i did pack a good amount of like homeschool activity type things they have the roller, roller blades and bikes yeah and bikes we carry but, that around with us yeah. they have you know baseballs and bats that we carry around so yeah there's there, there's stuff to do for sure um okay so what has been the best part so far of living in the RV. Question is, what has been the best part so far of living in the RV? Yep. Texas is pretty good. <laughs> Did you say sex? <laughs> All right, there's your answer. What is one thing you wish you'd known? That's not the answer. Unless it is the answer. Sure, that's the answer. That's a good one. Wow. <laughs> what is one thing you wish you'd known? There are a lot really of things answer? I kind of wish I had known. Mainly when we run into bumps and things, it's like, oh, we should have known that. Or, I don't know. It's felt, there's been some hard things for sure. As far as like the mechanics of the RV and learning it. So I, I, think one thing, <laughs> I think one thing we talked about is we kind of wish originally we would have bought like a fifth wheel, not a drivable oh. RV. Yeah, I mean, that makes complete sense. I mean, this, this RV's an awesome blessing and we've made yeah. the best of it we kind of fell into it in such a blessing the, of a it way, has but. a horrible horrible layout. not horrible it has a uh it's not a great layout for us yeah i mean fifth wheels have like pull slide outs slide outs and so it creates more room but i was really thinking like we don't have to drive it we don't have to worry about the mechanical stuff of the rv like if something needs an oil change it's just your car not your car and an rv or you know things like that it feels like having something that you pull with your vehicle would be better so yeah. um an event that i think we had a great experience is, is the is the pancakes we made today yes we did make pancakes today and it went well it went so. well i mean I enjoyed it we decided today like okay let's pull out we packed our kitchen aid and our baking stuff like under the queen bed in the back so we pulled it out today and made pancakes i think once we invite some people out over here like when we actually have people over it will make I didn't know we were doing that. <laughs> no, I don't ahead. think we have to do it. I'm just saying it's it like, will be it will fun, be a yeah. good experience. Yeah, I think so. For sure. Um, Question. What is it? What do you think will be the hardest thing to adjust to with everyone being so close together? Well, the hardest thing to adjust to. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is that our one and a half year old is just into everything. And so having to adjust to like, stop. Don't touch that. Stop. Please stop. Leave. Don't do it. Ah. Um, but just his his handsiness of wanting to get touch or be on everything or pour pour water out on the floor obviously kids do that every kids can do that in any, any situation but with such close quarters it's like you're constantly seeing yeah. it or you're constantly having to he's always on the next thing always. Yeah. so obviously that will change as he grows up and so the next me? question is is it just one room and do you all sleep together <laughs> So the answer is yes, it's one room. No, we do not sleep together. So it's one room in the back of the RV is a queen size bed. I think you've seen that bed in some of our vlogs with the kids shelving on the side. They sleep in there and we sleep on this lovely futon that folds out into a bed. And honestly, we're sleeping great. I don't have, I have any we, problem. We like, we did the queen bed just in case this was going to be hard on us. Or like, we were going to, you know, 
we're getting older. I slept, we're in our 30s. So. I think it's the pillow, obviously. <laughs> well, I've slept great. The kids have slept mostly great. And yeah. We've so, only had one or two nights that like, Ezekiel was kicking me in the back. So. But mainly he slept pretty good. And then um, I woke up fine. We, you know, it allows us to stay up and do things like this while they're sleeping, and we just get space to watch Netflix or do our favorite thing. Granted, we've only had one or From the two, question earlier. Oh, or two nights of Netflix. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done that. But we've night. done a lot of, like, Ezra Snacks work and yeah. things like that out here, which has been so helpful. Or read. We read. We've yes. read multiple times. When will you and your hubby just have time alone? So I think we've answered that because we do get a lot of time alone in the evening. And with the time change, there's windows. And when it, tonight I had the kids in bed at like 6 30. Because it's dark. That's what time so. I left. <laughs> right after you left, that would be good. Goodness. Um, you get a lot of time by yourself. Someone said, would like some honest feedback after you have been in the RV for a while, what you miss about being a brick and mortar resident. Freaking, oh, like, like I mean, I already told him before. We will update on that later, but I think I'll mostly miss like like the space of a living room floor, just to, like play on with the kids or whatever. That I know that will be something. But or remember, a big dining room table. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah, those are things. Yeah. Or well, remember? I mean, we played with the kids. You know, yes. Ezekiel played. There's catch, a video on here where we are playing. Played catch and he stayed up late and we we enjoyed that time. So it's not yeah. like it's not like we're missing it. It's just like. In, in a different perspective of like taking those small chunks and enjoying yeah. those times together. So, but sure. uh, one thing we'll miss regards a brick and mortar house um, environment. I would think showers. That's like the <laughs> biggest thing. I mean, that's true. A we had an awesome shower. shower. We had yeah. an awesome and shower in awesome our last house and bath or whatever. Uh, that will be that like. One. I mean, we put a lot of time and energy making a really awesome and space. I like my nighttime baths and facials and things like that and so you don't get that okay right. the final question <sighs> is have you purchased land to move to or will you be traveling a bit so we, we are, are moving moving. <laughs> moving from Abilene ah, which is a big deal we've been 13 here 13 years. and a half years wow that's the longest I've ever been anywhere not me but crazy thing is we're moving back to not only the city that I lived in, the exact location that I grew up my full 18 years of life Literally to. Literally 50 feet from where you were yeah. raised. So it's really crazy. It's like so bittersweet. Just the idea, the thought of leaving Abilene, and our people and our friends and the relationships yeah. and all the things, it feels really hard still. There's a lot of people we love here in Abilene. Yeah. But they're... I can't think about it. It's tears will start coming <laughs> no we'll definitely miss uh, every part of Abilene. Yeah. there's there there wasn't there hasn't been any bad part of Abilene. i mean yeah. regards to we've walked a lot of good hard fun joyful yeah. growing lots of good things in Abilene. yeah but we so we will come back a lot because ezra snacks is manufactured here so we'll come for that we already have some events we're coming to in 2021 in Abilene. yeah i think i told someone we'll be here almost every other month if not. i bet we will yeah and so I'm very thankful for that. But we're also going to be close to both of our families. They both live in East Texas. So we're moving to Gilmer, Texas. One lives two minutes away. <laughs> That's my mom. <laughs> and then his mom hint, lives... Hint. <laughs> his mom lives 20, 20 minutes away. away. So the blessing about this is the land that I grew up on, um, the house I grew up in <laughs> was um, last lived in... I'm just joking. About two minutes. Uh, about 10 years ago by my brother and he passed away in 2009 and so it had was sat empty for 10 years so we tore the house down last year and the land was just there and through a series of all this like the lord calling us to pay off debt and things like that um the opportunity came to move on to that land and we were like it was never ever a thought in the past it really wasn't it somehow was like, it just the lord just began to do things and it was really no desire to move on that land yeah it, it wasn't even thought that we could or would i don't know why but even if i don't even if think even if we were given the land there was there never mind did to do that yeah and so my mom signed the land over to us so we are officially land owners we have seven and a half acres beautiful tall trees we planted more trees there we plan to move the rv out there and then we plan to eventually build, build. 
So, we'll yeah. see.